Merry Christmas. It's Christmas Day and I'm on my own, but that's okay. Um, I'm not lonely. Um, people feel loneliness and that's okay too. But nobody is, it's the victim of loneliness that's troubling in my head because there are ways to fix it, but reposition it such that you'll have a great day, even if there's nobody here. And this is how you do it. One, you have to own that this is a problem. This is a problem that you can solve. And this is a problem that exists for lots of people and quite possibly a number of people that you know. So number one, it's, it's your problem. It's not somebody else's problem to solve. It's your problem. And now we're going to solve it. Two, acknowledge that it is the case that you feel lonely and that that is okay. Not that you are lonely and it's the end of the world because it's not the end of the world. Yeah. Just acknowledge your emotions. You are feeling lonely. And this is the step. This is the step that's going to make the difference. And that is to be proactive. People, generally speaking, aren't going to flock in droves to stop you being lonely. You know, hundreds and hundreds of people that are your friends on Facebook just aren't. They've got their own Christmas, yeah? They can't say Merry Christmas to absolutely everybody, and it's not personal. Don't take it personally, yeah, that people have looked at your situation and they've not said, oh, no, Steve is lonely to hell with him, yeah? It's just that if they think of everybody that they're, that is on their own at Christmas, they can't possibly um, come get round to everybody. Yeah, it's just it's just impossible. Um, <clears throat> and so we've got to be proactive. Yeah, we've got to be proactive and do something about it. And here's one thing to do: it's just go outdoors. Yeah. I don't care if you're like, it's difficult to do in tier four, obviously, but there will be people outdoors somewhere. Yeah. But the key is to get outdoors, even if it's at your doorstep with a hat on. Yeah. And drinks responsibly, a glass of something, alcoholic or otherwise, at your door and just say Merry Christmas to literally everybody that passes. Yeah? It doesn't matter because loads of people um, in certain parts of the country are not going to reply. But you know what? Some people will. Yeah? And that's being together, there's a togetherness about that. If you're in the right sort of tier, you can go for a walk walk. I'm going to go for a walk walk today. I might not go for a walk walk today. Um, but yeah, I'm going to head down the canal and I'm going to say Merry Christmas to absolutely everybody I meet. And I am not going to take it personally that people don't reply because it's, it's fine. Yeah, because some people will. And I will say Merry Christmas and I will feel good that I've given and I will receive some others. Number two, and this is a difficult one to do, but it is, it's the, it is the most proactive and the, you need the most courage to do. And that is tell people, yeah? 
If you've got the balls to go onto Facebook and and phraseology, don't make it sound like a victim, make it just sound genuine. It's like, go onto Facebook, feeling a bit lonely, lonely today. If you've got if you've got a bit of if you've got five minutes, give us a ring. Send me a message. Yeah. Don't make people feel guilty for not doing it. Um, just, just, just say it. Yeah, that's re- it was a great deal of courage required to do that. But you, you are the one that have, has got to be proactive. And if you're not comfortable with that, um, uh, do it privately. Yeah, and that is. Say Merry Christmas to somebody in a private message that you know might have time for you for 10 minutes and say, Merry Christmas, Bob, whoever. Um, hope you have a uh, lovely day. If you've got five minutes me, uh, for me, feeling a bit uh, lonely. And... <laughs> They may or may not reply, but whatever it is, don't make people feel guilty for not replying and don't take it personally if they can't, yeah? And just Christmas Day is a day, yeah? It's just uh, one of many of the Christmas days and if people have got kids, then it's a complicated day, yeah? So it's okay to just say, Bob and family, have a lovely day, feeling a bit down, um, give, or not even that. Can we have a natter on Boxing Day? Yeah. Think about what you're saying and how it will make people feel. And if you think that it will make feel, people feel guilty, then absolutely do not do it. Because that's just not fair. Yeah. You will know what you're doing. And if you have owned this problem, then you will own this responsibility. Yeah? This this is very important, that you are the one that has the responsibility for this phraseology. And uh, it's not an intrusion, but it's, it's obviously an interruption to people's days. And so do make sure that you are not, you're not going to make people feel bad. Yeah. Don't, don't make people, other people's Christmases awkward. If it is the case that you just want some company because it's, it's not genuine. You need to be super, super genuine and super, super authentic, which is basically the same thing. So there, a bit of contact. Contact helps. If you have no contact, yeah, this Christmas Boxing Day, that's the day after Christmas, by the way, if you are not in the UK, then message me yeah just message me message crucial survival message steve marvel two l's yeah just message me i'll talk to you yeah because i'm on my own and you know what work out the time zone please because i'm in gmt the uk uh so let's not do that at five o'clock in the morning yeah just a little bit of consideration. Uh, but don't be offended if I don't message straight away. And don't be offended if I do say, I can't write now and I'll uh, message you later or I'll message you tomorrow. Because if I get a thousand people, you know what, if I had a thousand people message me, then uh, I would happy I would happily 
uh, Zoom them all. Yeah. In, in, in fact, let's, let's do that. If I get a whole raft of people, yeah, then let's, let's do a massive Zoom call. Yeah. If uh, we we'll just have a, a great laugh. Yeah. Right. On that, what I want you to do is think about your day at home on your own. Okay. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to not have a Christmas dinner. Yeah. Because turkey is crap. It's a dry, awful bird that takes ages to cook. You have loads and loads and loads of it. Um, and it doesn't taste nice. So I'm going to have something completely different. And I don't know what that is. And that's cool because I'm not beholden to anybody right now. I am completely independent and I'm going to eat what I want, when I want. Ta-da! And that's great. That is an opportunity. Yeah. And if you can reposition loneliness and into being on your own and in being on your own into opportunity, then you have cracked the day. Yeah. Because you can. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to not have a Christmas dinner because turkey's rubbish. Uh, I did. Um, I had my birthday yesterday. I was on my own. Uh, and I made myself a roast chicken. Yeah. Not yesterday, 23rd. Uh, yesterday, I just ate the other half of it with some bubble and squeak. Um, <clears throat> uh, today, I don't know what I'm going to eat. Uh, I don't care. I don't care when I eat it. I'm going to make a mess. I'm going to eat all of the biscuits. Um, what else am I going to do? I don't know, because I don't need to plan. It's my opportunity to not plan. I am pretty much only wearing a shirt because I'm having this conversation. Yeah? I'd just be work, uh, in some random T-shirt otherwise. Um, but I'm having a serious conversation about loneliness today, and uh, I thought I'd put a shirt on. Um, this is something else you can do or otherwise on your Christmas day is that you do not have to get dressed, which is fine. Yeah. Nobody's going to judge you for what you do on your Christmas day. So what do you do? What do you do on Christmas day? Well, I was on my own. So I watched Netflix. I drank avocado and lemonades. And uh, I did my toenails and and I ate an entire box of milk tray and watched some more Netflix. Now, so long as you're not eating an entire box of milk tray to make yourself feel better and drink loads and loads of booze to make yourself feel, feel better, that's okay. But if you're drink, uh, drinking uh, avocado and leather made and in your gym jams watching Netflix and having <coughs> uh, an entire box of milk tray because you can, because you're on your own and you're responsible for yourself, then hurrah. If you've, if you've re repositioned loneliness into opportunity, then you've cracked the day. And so I'm going to go and take responsibility of myself and have my day on my own do what I want, when I want. I'm going to go out. I'm going to say Merry Christmas to literally everybody. And I'm going to send some messages to some people, especially some people that I also know are on the, my, their own, and have uh, tell them uh, if, they're, if they're bored or if they can give me a ring uh, or a ring to time or whatever. So. Have a lovely Christmas. Re reposition your day 
by owning the fact that you are lonely because it's Christmas Day and you're on your own, own it, acknowledge it, reposition it, and be the one that's proactive. And that's the most important thing. So have a great day. Let me know in the comments all the things that you did that because you were on your own. Um, we should have a poll uh, and to who, who got dressed and who did not, who ate turkey and who did not. And if you want to message me, then you absolutely can. Yeah, just be careful of the time zones. Yeah, but drink responsibility, responsibility. I've not had a drink because I don't drink very often at all. I certainly don't drink that quarter past 12 uh, when I've only just had breakfast. So drink responsibly if you're going to drink at all. Uh, don't to drink and eat chocolate to cure loneliness. Uh, own the day, do what you want, and speak to you tomorrow or anybody before that wants to. And as I say, if we get masses and masses of people, let's have a massive, great big Zoom call and have a giggle. Catch you later, guys. See you later. Bye. Hello again. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Because when you do so, you will not only ensure that you miss nothing, but your questions and comments will benefit the channel and enhance each episode for everybody. I'll see you in the next one. And in the meantime, keep well, stay at home and save lives.